quadratic factors uh, where we have a scenario whereby we have denominators containing quadratic factors or quadratic factor. So we are working with this example 6 minus x over the denominator. We have a linear factor and a quadratic factor. So what then do we do? Always when the denominator is a, is a linear factor, the numerator will be a constant. But when the denominator is a quadratic factor, the numerator must be a linear factor. So a linear, a general in linear uh, factor will be bx uh, plus c over 4 plus x squared. So then say 6 minus x is equal to a times 4 plus x squared plus bx plus c 1 minus x. So to find the values of the constants a, b and c, we say the, when x is equal to when x is equal to 1. Why when x is equal to 1? Why do you get uh, the last part and you left with uh, the part containing a? So when x is equal to 1, it becomes 6 minus 1. That's 5. When x is equal to 1, it becomes 5a. So a is equal to 1. We say when x is equal to when x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, uh, we have 6 is equal to 0. That's 4. That's 4a. When x is equal to 0, it becomes uh, we'll be left with c plus c. Now remember, already we have the value of uh, the value of a. So we now have 4 times 1. That's just 4. So c will be equal to 2. Lastly, we say when x is equal to, you can now take any value. Because remember, we will now we have the values of uh, the value of a and the value of c. We are left with the value of b only. So you can say when x is equal to, let's just say when x is equal to 2. So when x is equal to 2, it becomes uh, 6 minus 2. That's 4. When x is equal to 2, that's 4. Plus 4, 8a. Plus, when x is equal to 2, it becomes 2b. Plus c. When x is equal to 2, that's 1 minus 2. That's minus 1. So 8a, remember a, the value of a is equal to 1. So it becomes 8 plus 2b plus c. Our c, our c is equal to 2. Then times minus 1. That's 8 minus 2b minus minus 2. So 8 minus 2, that's 6, uh, your 2b becomes positive, and then 8 minus 2, that's 6, and then 6 minus 4, 6 minus 4, that's 2. So b will be equal to 1. So we now have the values of all the constants a, b, and c. So it means we can now express our 6 minus x, or 1 minus x, 4 plus x squared is equal to partial fractions, our a is equal to 1, so that's 1 over 1 minus x, plus our b is equal to 1, so that will be x plus c, our c is equal to 2 over 4 plus x squared. So this is how we uh, get the partial fractions of uh, a fraction which had uh, quadratic factors. So that's it with a uh, quadratic factor is another way by we get quadratic factors of the denominator. Yeah, so don't forget uh, to subscribe and to follow us so that all the times when we post your videos, you always get uh, updates in time. Thank you so much.